miss me. Hmm? Amy sure missed me. Oh, yeah, she was she pretty. Was all over. Like, whoa. Like, I haven't probably been gone any longer. Well, she'd have been more entertained when you got back. Yeah, oh, yeah. She did, she did, and the door went open, she ran in my window, dumped my screen camera over. Good job. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Well, you repositioned it back where it's supposed to be, and then she knocked it over again. Having stuff in there would make more sense right now than getting it for the cheaper price. Just get it and put it in. Well, the thing maybe, is, maybe get the oil. Maybe get the oil from I don't know North Dakota, Montana, know, Montana Texas. Pump <coughs> it out of the ground, pump it directly into the tanks. I don't know how they do that. I don't know. <coughs> Still got to go to the refinery afterwards. What's in a big salt cave? <coughs> Turn big salt deposits into salt caves and fill it up with oil. Then you pump the oil back out. You got an underground storage facility, fairly secure. And it may be more than one place, as I don't know. Probably. That would make sense too. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Yeah. Around the Ramsey 
найти. Ну. Well, gotta make sure they're good to go when the when the fair is here, right? Yeah, the parade got to go through this pretty yeah, good. Yeah, it's gonna have to. Yeah. The cones should have probably been done a while back. Well, I'm sure they'll take it off the parade, which is Saturday. Yeah, pretty soon. Yeah. Or really, well, have more fun that way. Mm -hmm. This would be a good time for them to start construction on Burdick. Which is what they do sometimes. Rip out the whole road. Right from the fair. And don't tell the fair or anything either. Like, well, the day before the fair for parade starts, we'll just rip this big whole section out. Not tell anybody.
probably until you need to rest and yeah, and all the things you don't want to do. Well, sometimes you just have to do stuff. Sometimes you just need to rest too. Yeah, I don't. Know. something else and they said anything else and yeah my foot's really been hurting toes and I said, well you broke it I went what it's been broke and when, how long and, has it been broke and, I said, and, and, and you kept on walking on yeah 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 he said well you broke your toe I went well okay is that why it hurts yeah okay what can you do about it nothing <laughs> okay. rest you know, we'll bandage up, rest, tape it to the other toe so it doesn't move much. No, she said, no, you've already passed that stage. You know, uh -huh. it's already reset itself, but it's not healed yet. Yeah. So you know, it's let it heal. It'll take a while while it knits itself back yeah. together. You broke your toe. Yeah. So well, that explains why it hurts. <laughs> it's like, it's like going to sprain my ankle. She said you didn't think he had to come in on that. I said, well, I didn't know it was that big a deal. Well, yeah, that, it does hurt. You know? Yeah. It's been hurt for weeks. Uh, like for weeks. Yeah. I figured it would get better. Well, it is eventually. Yeah, eventually. <laughs> well, I'm hoping this will too, but I don't have to have surgery or something. Uh -huh. Well, I didn't know I sprained my ankle, mm -hmm. but I did, both of them. Yes. And what did I do? Well, it was painful, so I took a leave. Mm -hmm. Which helps slow down the healing? Oh, yes. Yeah. You're supposed to, at least for the first week or so, let not to take any like aspirin or or you take Tylenol, but nothing that has inflation is nothing for the inflammation for at least the first week. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, they're always over there. They're always over here. All the baby turkeys and yeah, they're always over there. But yeah, you're not supposed to take any anti-inflammatories for the first week, and they said actually you should put like heat on the while it's already warm because it helps in. So my heating pad, you know, it's an inf it's an infrared one, would actually be better for it. And I did do that, but I was also taking anti whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, well, actually, a more improvement to your natural healing process. Now I said after a week. Now, after it's still hurting after a week, well then you know you should probably start taking something. Yeah, but when it's hurting, like, all oh, bloody hell, and you can't sleep or do anything. Well, mine's not too bad if it doesn't bear weight. If I'm bearing well, weight, though, it starts to... Yeah, okay. It's been being a problem since May. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like on my sciatic nerve. I decides to, uh... Yep. Have some fun. Yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's like, what are you going to do? What, can you, what are you going to do for it? Uh, well, um... Take some anti-inflammatory... Well, I, well, I think I really do anything to really cure it, but I used to overkill it. it does with a thousand well, milligrams of aspirin? Well, yeah, yeah, you could do that eat too. But, and uh, and I have been taking the more when, I'm, when we're not traveling. I've been taking more of the natural anti-inflammatories, the ones that are supposedly don't have all the side effects in the world. Yeah, like your curcumin and uh, boswellian serrata acid stuff. So. That's the natural painkill anti-inflammatory painkillers, which don't have all the side effects that like leave or aspirin or ibuprofen have. So you know, They're not necessarily not necessarily the most powerful stuff, but it's supposed to be the most powerful non non uh, NSAID stuff. So. I should be start. I should start taking fish oil again. about auto vitamin C stuff too. It's just another anti-inflammatory, natural anti-inflammatory. Is it really? Yeah, vitamin C is a natural anti-inflammatory. Huh. It's like an antioxidant. I mean, it's not extremely powerful, but I mean, it, it helps. It works. So like, fish oil is an, an antioxidant. 
slash anti-inflammatory. Didn't know that. Again, one. it's not the highest stuff, but it, it will help. Didn't know that. Yeah, uh, taking the glycosamine could drain stuff helps too. I watched the video with a couple doctors um, on multiple channels, and they're talking about all the best stuff for like knee osteoarthritis, and they're listing down all these supplements that you should take to help that are natural and not like you know taking like aspirin or or other type of pills. These are the best supplements to take if you want to have more natural less of the prescription or over the counter painkillers. Like, well, I'll try them all out and see what happens. I said most of them are generally safe for causing no problems even when they're used together. I'm like, okay, that works even better. That Bosphilian stuff's also supposed to have uh, help with you if you have asthma too. So. They are more expensive than uh, regular painkillers. Maybe they'll actually work.
I cut that pole down, it's not as tall as it used to be. Well, there's a fence around the thing, so. Yeah. Yeah, I'll pull that right. over there, that big pole. Mm -hmm. The whack it off where it's only about eight to ten feet tall now. It's a huge distance of what it's before. Yeah. Boy, there was a lot of closed businesses around here, mm -hmm. so. So glad we don't live there. Yeah. No, we didn't go all over Grand Forks either. No, but we did cover a good chunk of it. Mm -hmm. Well, the western sections. Well, there's a lot of closed businesses here too. Yes, there are. This is ours are more tighter into one in the area of the world. But oh, there's a little more spread out. Flat, flat. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of places are have the same thing. In this economy, it wouldn't be surprising. decided to leave for another community which then found out that community was not very good so came back so now he's going to start fresh all over again you know, like kind of sucks you know? yeah real world there we are yeah. change thing with the new server and all that. Now they're starting to make radical policy changes. Yeah, it's, it's just going to piss more people off. They want to do these grand old massive changes. Well, the grand old massive changes are pissing people off yeah. to the point where I don't think a lot of them are going to stay. And then they're going to then they're going to be bitching about then why they're losing people. Massive changes all the time in less than a week. People don't, what do you expect's going to happen if you hold it? Or? People don't care. No way. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's already people wanting to go after the way the old server was run. There. It's yeah. already. It's not even a week old now, and they already want to go back. Yeah. Give it a month. We'll see how. Okay. Once school starts, and the activity drops off. Yeah, I, I really be wondering if how many people are going to stay. They said it was going to be better than the server we had and the other server which we merged from. Nope. That's developed. So it's going to be different. It's going to be less, less, less economy based. I'm like, well, what I'm seeing in the first less than a week here, it's already worse than the other place. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's saying something. You know.
Oh, yeah. 